Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to a very exciting video. I'm excited because it's finally September, which means it's dark nail polish season. It's pumpkin season. It's black cat season. It's all of my favorite things all at once. And as we get closer to autumn winter, I've been changing up my wardrobe, getting my transition wardrobe into play. And this is where the sponsor of this video comes in. I posted a little teaser on my Instagram, I'm working with this company, and the amount of messages that I got, you guys are very excited. I'm working on this video with Vivaya. They sent me four pairs of shoes to try and to create outfits with, and I was able to choose the shoes that I wanted, so um, it was not difficult. And when you see the styles, you are gonna laugh because if I was a shoe, <laughs> these are the shoes that I would be. So guys, without further ado, let's talk transitional wardrobes. So you guys know I live in a apart apartment flat. Oh my God, which country do I live in? I live in a flat, uh, Maisonette, uh, which is basically one level. And we have two bedrooms, so we haven't got a huge amount of space. So my wardrobes, I alternate as the seasons change. So. Um, in our loft space, I have bags of like different clothes. So obviously it's been summer here, kind of. <laughs> we haven't had much of a summer, but summer is now kind of officially over in the UK. Looking at the weather for the next 10 days, it's gonna suck. So I decided to get down some of my transitional pieces. Now, when I talk about that, I'll go into a little bit of detail of what I'm talking about. So in the summertime, obviously it's more like shorts, t-shirts, vests, dresses. Transitionally for summer to autumn, which is what we're talking about today, I'm gonna to be putting those dresses back up in a loft because chances of me needing them are slim to none. It's all about t-shirts, uh, long sleeve t-shirts, like light material, sweaters that are kind of not really chunky, more jeans, more boots, all that kind of stuff. Um, trench coats instead of denim jackets, uh, maybe a winter coat on the odd day that the weather really sucks. So you get the vibe. When I talk about style, my style is, and I do this because I hate the word style, like what I feel comfortable wearing. I'm very classic. I don't wear a lot of trendy things. I'm not a trend person. I invest in key pieces that are gonna last me for years. And I shop at places like Reese. Um, if you know Reese, their stuff is quite pricey. I get all of my stuff from them in the sale usually, but their work trousers, second to none. All of my work trousers are Reese trousers. They're heavy, they're classic, they fit beautifully, they fall beautifully. And everything else you wear, you just look more expensive. So when it comes to tops and things, I can afford to be a little bit more playful. Trench coats, printed tees, you're gonna see all of that. But what we're here to talk about predominantly today, whilst I show you all the outfits that I've put these shoes with, are the shoes. So guys, let's talk about Vivaya. Let me just go through the styles that I chose. I'll put um, the images of the shoes in here while I just talk about them. So I chose the Aria Flats. This is what Vivaya are known for. These flat shoes are, they're just so popular on social media and I love them. I chose this colorway because they really are like that classic, almost like Chanel looking flat shoe. I chose those ones for this very reason. And plus they just go with everything. I, always I wear black all the time, you know this. Uh, so I wanted to get the colorway that was like black and ivory just to kind of give the shoes a slightly more summery vibe. Although we're looking at autumn winter, as we said, this is transitional. These shoes are gonna see me through autumn to winter, winter to spring, spring to summer. These shoes are for all um, occasions. Then I went for the Ryan boot, and that's actually what I've got on my feet right now. I completely forgot that I'm wearing them, they're that comfortable. And the Ryan boot is just my kind of shoe to a T. If you've seen my outfit videos before, this boot 
is me in a boot. And I love the fact that you can just slip your foot into them. You're hands free. You don't need to faff around. They're so stretchy. They're really comfortable, but they're the perfect ankle boot for the style of trousers that I wear all the time. They work with skinny jeans. They work with flares, you know, everything, any kind of trouser that you wear, these are going to look amazing. Then for more of a summery vibe, I went for the Cara sandal, again, in the ivory and the black, because this works with all my dresses, every summer outfit that I have, it worked with shorts. And what I love about this, I will go into more detail later, is the Adapt All strap. Guys, this strap, you can put the, I don't know what you call it, the buckle, you can put the buckle in anywhere there's not you know usually your sandals and they have the holes that are slightly like spaced out on me because i've got quite small ankles i have to go right to the end and even then my feet kind of flap about these ones are amazing because you can put it anywhere and obviously when it is warmer you're walking about my ankles swell up my feet swell up and after a while the shoes become uncomfortable not with these i have worn these shoes and i've had them now for like three or four weeks um the vibe were nice enough to give me the time to wear them all test them all with all my outfits and uh, luckily we had some decent weather and i wore them around all day they were amazing and then finally you know you can't have favorites i have a favorite these amanda leopard print boots are everything i have ever wanted first of all they're leopard print tick second of all they've got a lowish heel but still a nice heel tick third off they're that amazing material that revaya have but it's like a sock it clings to your skin but like not tight it, it stretches with you that means I can wear them with leggings, with skinny jeans. No matter how skinny the jean is, the most annoying thing about wearing boots with skinny jeans, if I'm wrong, tell me. You put your foot into the boot, you sit down, you stand up, and your skinny jeans rough around the top. No, these are like, look at this. It's a sock, but they're so thick. Oh my God. These are amazing. And the colorway for these, when I say I've worn them nonstop, guys, I have worn them nonstop. I love them. I love the arch support. They've got really good arch support. All their shoes do. But on boots, I feel like you feel it more. And they've got the breathable soles. So when you're walking all day at work and stuff, like you don't get too hot. It, oh, God. Love these. And the material of these shoes does blow my mind because they are made with recycled plastic bottles. This is how I first got to hear about Mavaya years ago. And I actually bought a pair of the Aria flats in black like four years ago. And I've still got them. They're amazing. And I, um, I, I just can't get my head around the whole how they're made. I will pop a video below if it's still on my website of how they're made because they used to have one on there years ago and it's incredible. But I love the environmentally friendly aspect of these shoes. I don't like wearing leather all the time. I don't like the thought of animals suffering for me having to eat or wear stuff. I'm just not a fan. So the environmental aspect is incredible. And what I also love is they are like um water resistant so even though they've got this amazing like stretchy material if you go outside and it does start to rain because obviously autumn winter is just going to be especially in london it just pours down with rain at any given point you know you're okay and you're not going to get soaked feet which is incredible but if you do get anything on them they are all machine washable tick 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 i just love everything and also for autumn winter slippable soles like anti-slip soles Check that out. Look at that. That is like a solid, solid sole. Sorry, I have worn these, so they are a little bit grubby. But that is a good sole. And they're all the same. They've all got the great, like, grip sole. That's the sandal. They're also lightweight as well, which is what I love. And these are the flats. And I'm actually wearing the Ryan boot, so excuse me. <laughs> That's the face of that one. So, guys, let's talk about some outfits because i have got what i've paired these shoes with i've got snapshots of each one so we'll go through each shoe talk about the outfits and potential things of what we can do in autumn winter to make ourselves feel a bit more glam 
right, I have some notes because obviously I filmed everything B-roll ahead of time. So I need to remember the outfits that I've chosen. So my transitional wardrobe is very basic. Um, and like I say, my style is very basic. I'm very classic. I do love skinny jeans, flared jeans, leggings, pretty much that's it. <laughs> I'm not a massive skirt person until winter. So this is more like my jean era, if you will. And then I always stick to classic tops, like a black t-shirt. And when I say black, this, everything I wear is pretty much black. So black t-shirts. I have um, a lovely selection of like polar necks with no sleeves, just for those days that it's not too cold, it's not too warm, it's just weird. So let's get into it. So first of all, we've got a black t-shirt with um, jersey trousers. These are like M&S jersey wide leg trousers. And I've gone for the Aria flats with my beige Gucci Soho disco bag, discontinued sad times. But this to me, the bag kind of fits the color scheme of the Aria shoe. So like, because this is ivory, my bag, they called it like beige rose. It's like a pinky ivory color, beige color. So works really beautifully with these shoes. And because I do tend to wear all black all the time, um, it's nice to break it up a little bit. So that's why my bags sometimes have like a big pop of color because I need something to kind of liven everything up a little bit. Then I went for the same outfit, but with the sandals. So I, these, oh, these are just so great. So these are them close up. This is the adaptable strap I was telling you about. So basically, because the breathable material is kind of like woven like that, you can put the buckle in any of these holes and they stretch, they're quite stretchy. So like I said at the beginning, when you first put a shoe on and it's the morning maybe and your feet aren't swollen, you can go as tight as you want. And throughout the day, especially with sandals, I do tend to like loosen it up a little bit. And that's what I love about this because usually you have the holes that are spaced out. And as I said, I've got slim ankles. It's always so annoying when you put a shoe on and it still flaps about, it's really, really irritating. So I love this for that. I did get a, quite a bit of use out of these, but I am gonna take them on holiday with me to the States. They're really lightweight. You don't need any, like, they're not really any caretaking because you can throw them in the, in the washing machine. You could just be a bit like, just chuck them in and let them go. Cause we're going to America in October for our like summer holiday. And it's gonna be like 35 degrees there. So those are going to be incredible. Then um, I sort of went on to leggings. Now I wanted to show you how the Amanda Leopard print boot clings to the skin and is like skin-like. So I wore the tightest things I could possibly wear, which are my black leggings that I wear out and about to the gym or to the shops or whatever. So I put these with the Amanda boot. And like I said, I am obsessed with these. Really foldable, easy to fold, easy to pack. You can fold that, fold that, shove them in your handbag. I love the heel. It's still high and like feminine, but it's like square and it's just not too high. I can't do high heels, guys. I'm all about um, comfort. And th that's what this brand is all about is comfort. And if I wanna be able to run for a bus, I want to be able to run for a bus, whether I'm wearing heels or not. Your girl is not fussy. <laughs> and then I put these on today with the outfit that I'm wearing now. This is my kind of casual Sunday, Saturday, going out to lunch kind of outfit. But I would also wear this to work on like a dress down Friday. And although it's pretty basic, like band tee, like I said at the beginning, I love wearing printed tees now that my boobs are smaller. I'm able to do that. And then also with the jeans and the boots, because the boots are stylish, it elevates the outfit, it makes it look passable. Throw a blazer on there, as you can see by the B-roll while I'm chatting away, throw a blazer with it, immediately you're wearing a stylish outfit. And this is what I love, is that I am like young at heart, but I am aware that I'm 45. I don't want to be like, <laughs> <laughs> mutton dresses lamb <laughs> that's really really horrible saying but I don't want people to look at me like oh my god she looks really trashy I love the fact that 
I do love Guns N' Roses. Guns N' Roses, FYI, first band I ever saw live in concert. I'm very proud of that. Um, yeah, so I do love Guns N' Roses. I love, I love band t-shirts, but I also love being stylish. So wearing the leopard print boots with the blue jeans and a nice blazer just kind of adds a little bit of style to it. The Ryan boots, I really, really love. Let me get them off again to show you. I just keep forgetting that I'm wearing these. So these boots are, these are the boots, this is the, when I was talking about the style that I wear all the time, this is the style that I wear all the time. I have literally three or four pairs of boots that are the same as this, the same look, but not obviously the vile ones. And I love these. I, they're really, again, foldable, can just throw them in a case, throw them in a handbag, really lightweight. They've got the breathable soles, the great arch support. I just love everything about these boots and they are hands-free. So if I'm just chatting on the phone or whatever, I can just slip my foot right into them. Amazing, I'm here for that. And I am all about comfort. I've never been the person that would wear an uncomfortable shoe. That just isn't me. And to test the comfort of these shoes, I wore them last week, um, Stu and I went out for dinner. And when we go for, we went for, an, we went for a curry and our uh, local restaurant is like a 30 minute walk away. And we walk there and walk back to make ourselves feel better about the stuff in our faces. And um, I wore these boots there and back, uh, inserting B-roll now of me walking up the street. And I can say, hand on heart, comfortable. I didn't, and it was quite warm, so the breathable bit really came into play because I could feel the air in between my toes. I didn't feel gross and uncomfortable. When you wear new shoes, you've really got to wear them in. These just, I literally received them. It was a week later because I had COVID and I just got up, off I went. So I will, yeah, contest how comfortable they are. Um, and then with the Aria flats again, uh, as you know, these are probably like my second favourite. The Amanda boots are incredible, but I love the flats. I never wear flats, but I went for my polar neck with no sleeves. I really love this as an outfit. I love a polar neck with no sleeves. It's perfect for this time of year. It's really, really chic and stylish. And I paired it with my good American black jeans, Gucci belt and the shoes and a bag. And as you can see, it just looks, if I do say so myself, really, really expensive. And I also want to, you can throw a blazer on with it or you could throw on my trench coat. I've got a, like a, a beige trench coat, perfect for this weather because it is always going to be pouring with rain, but you don't want anything too heavy perfect transitional piece and everybody has kind of got in their wardrobe these kind of pieces these shoes these flats i'm going to get a lot a lot of wear out of and again they are foldable look at that you can just literally chuck them in your handbag um in a case for holiday got the breathable soles arch support non-slip because i'm accident prone will fall all over the place love them and i just love the logo as well Look how sweet that is. It's just so cute. And they just look really, really expensive and they're so comfy. Absolutely here for them. And I think that's pretty much it for the B-roll. If I find any more, I'll put it in. I wrote some bits down, um, but I'm trying to wing this bit. So yeah, guys, that is my guide to autumn winter transitional wardrobe. Tell me what you wear for autumn winter because I am always interested in your go-to pieces. For me, as I said, blazer, flat shoes, good ankle boots, good boots with a heel, covers all bases. And guys, thank you so much for tuning in for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you want more fashion stuff from me, let me know. I'm not really a fashionista, but if you are interested in what I wear, how I put things together, just let me know. And once again, I want to thank Vivaya for sponsoring this video and for sending me these amazing shoes. I will be getting a lot of use out of them in autumn, winter. Guys, thank you ever so much for watching. I will see you next week for another video. Take care.